Hello families. Uh, this video is to show you how students use readworks.org to complete assignments. I'm using a test account, but it is using one of the assignments that I um, have assigned to them. So for them to access it, they will access it through Google Classroom and um, it will take them directly to that particular assignment. So walk the plank is one that they'll see. So when they get there, they'll see the assignment and they will click on it. And there's a couple different ways they can set it up. When they first click on it, it's going to show just the passage that they're going to be reading. And then another tab up here that will show the questions. But one way they may prefer to set it up is if they go up here in the top right and click the side by side. That allows them to view the passage and the questions at the same time. Now, when they're just reading the passage at first, they may prefer to keep it like this and make it easier to read. And then when they're ready to answer questions, they might want to prefer to go ahead and set it into the side-by-side -side mode. Um, as they go through, the first few questions are always multiple choice, uh, like what were Jack and Tommy pretending the tree house was? Well, they were, you know, pretending, say, a pirate ship. Um, they click their answers and they go on through. This one has them read a specific section, so they need to reread that little section. And then it says, based on this evidence, what conclusion can you draw about how Tommy felt? So they're really focusing just on this section of the text. Um, there's a lot of what is the evidence? That's something that we focus on a lot. Another section where it read this part and use it to answer your question. And then it gets down here to the bottom where they have their short answer questions and these I expect them to use their wrap strategy. So they restate the question, answer, and then provide evidence to support their answer. So the question here says, um, what did Tommy do that caused Captain Jack to sentence him to walk the plank? So they're going to start off by typing in their restating of the question. So they would, might say, Tommy um, had to walk, walk the plank because and then they're going to answer um, because he ate the cookies instead of giving them to the captain. And then in this case, the evidence is um, pretty clear, but maybe they refer back to like what paragraph that happened in. So they might look back and be like, okay, let's see. Um, going back, trying to find that section. So when Captain ordered his first mate to hand over the three chocolate chip cookies, Tommy was supposed to do so without complaint. But the cookies were his favorite. Uh, he didn't care who the captain was. He stuffed them all in his mouth. So they could say something like, um, instead of giving them to the captain, he did this because they were his favorite. And he... Um, Felt he deserved these. And they could even put something like, um, according to paragraph, and then they count what paragraph that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight of the text. 
So that gives them their restate, their answer, and then they're proving it with evidence, which is really important part of responding to these short answer questions is giving that evidence. Once they've finished, they submit, and then that allows the teacher to go ahead and grade and um, give feedback to their questions and their answers. So this one's pretty easy. It's a lot like Common Lit if you've already watched that video. Um, a little more simplified as far as the options that are available. Um, there's not the options to annotate this one like there is on Common Lit. And that's it. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me on Seesaw. Thank you.